Welcome back everybody. In this Python tutorial we're going to go over how you can create a GUI to roll dice using TK Enter. For our first example it's going to look like this. Then to roll the dice we just press the button and to continue to roll the dice we can just keep pressing the button. Okay for the imports we're going to use TK Enter and Random. Here we have gone ahead and created our main window using tk.tk. Then we have resized the window to 400 by 400 using root.geometry. And we gave the main window the title of roll dice. Next, we went ahead and created our label widget using tk.label. The label is going to go in the root main window and the label will start with no text. For the font, we're going to use Helvetica with the size of 260. The next thing we did is we went ahead and created our button widget using tk.button. Once again, the button is going to go in the root main window. The text for the button will be roll dice. The foreground color will be green. And then here for the command argument, we're going to assign the roll dice function. And this will be the function that will be activated when we press the button. And that function is here. So the first thing we did is we went ahead and created the Unicode character strings for the dice. And we put that in a list. Then, each time the button is clicked, we will activate the function. And we will use this code to update the label with the images of the dice. And for that code, we use label.configure. And inside the configure round brackets, we put the text. We're going to go ahead and use an F string with string interpolation. Then we use the random module dot choice, and this will randomly pick from our dice images. So this will be the first die, and this will be the second die. Here, we've gone ahead and packed the button into the root main window, and then we use root dot main loop to keep the window up and running. Let's move on to our second example. And in the second example, instead of using the Unicode character strings for the dice, we're going to use actual images. You'll notice that a lot of the code in this example is very similar to the code in our first example. For the imports, we import TK Enter. Then we're going to import from Pillow the image and the image TK. And of course, we're going to import random. Here, we go ahead and create our main window resize it and give it a title. Then we go ahead and create a list of our images and for this example it's important to make sure that your images are in your directory that you can access or to go ahead and specify the path directly. The next thing we've done is we have gone ahead and created variables for the images that we will access at random. So to do that, we use image tk dot photo image. Then inside the round brackets, we use image dot open, and then we use the random module to randomly choose from the dice images. And we go ahead and do that for both dice. Then we go ahead and create a label widget for each image. Here we have packed each label widget into the root main window. Next, we create the button widget, and this is done pretty much the same as in the first example. For the command callback function, we're going to use roll dice, which we created here. Just like we did here, we go ahead and create variables for the dice images. Now, these variables will show the dice as soon as we run the code. And these variables will be used when we press the button to roll the dice and update the images. To update the images, we use each label.configure and we assign the image variable to image. To make sure that we keep a reference to the image so it can be used, we're going to use this code here. So this is the code for die1 or image1, 
And this is the code for die 2 or image 2. And of course, we go ahead and pack the button into the root main window. And then we use root.mainloop to keep the window open and running. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's press the button to roll the dice. Okay, that's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.